Okay, so welcome to cryptography. So this is lecture two uh, by Mr. Chiara and we are doing the uh, quiz in this lecture material. So basically this was our 2023 quiz one and I got a zero. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, this is how it is. They are saying using a Caesar cipher with S equal to five, encrypt the message now is there. So basically, a Caesar cipher is one way you can encrypt uh, a message. By encrypting it, uh, it means hiding the content for that message. So Caesar cipher, what it does, uh, it encrypts uh, each stream or each letter uh, at, uh, at that particular point. So you are encrypting it one by one. So uh, it's a uh, stream cipher. So basically, um, a Caesar cipher, all you need to know is how to encrypt if you are given a certain key. In a, in, a, in, a, in a case whereby S is close to 5, it means the key is close to 5. So, the first method we talk about is the one you need to use the normal alphabet. So, we have the alphabet, as you can see, from A up to Z. Then, if you are given a key uh, like S is equal to 5, uh, you need to, to, to count. So, A is 1, B2, C3, D4, E5. So, uh, this is S is close to 5, meaning if we remove these uh, 5 letters, we are starting at F. So where there is A down, you start F, F, G, then you continue H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Since you are done, so you wrap around, you start again, A, B, C, D, E. So we are done uh, by doing that. So as you can see, S is close to 5, or a shift of S is close to 5 will give you uh, that sequence of the alphabet. So now, since we have that, uh, this uh, will represent the print text. So I'll be explaining things now. So this will represent the print text which is just a clear message or something you are able to read. And this now is what we call a cipher, te uh, a cipher text. So if I, a cipher text is uh, a text or message which is encrypted, though it has hidden content. So now we have our plain text as we have our plain text which is given from that quiz. Now is the hour. So now is the hour. Then we have the cipher text which we need to generate since they are saying we need to encrypt that. So we need to generate this cipher text now. So uh, the cipher text, this is how it is. In our plain text here, we have N from now. So where there's N, when you go down, you find that there's S. So in place of N, you have S. Now you are, in, uh, you are encrypting. Where there is O, as you can see from now, we, are, we have O. So where there is O now, uh, under O we have T. So there you just need to write uh, T. So as you can see we have O, then under O we have T. So here we put T. Then we continue W. Under W we have B, so you write B, then space, under I, uh, where is our I? So under I we have N, so you write N, and then S, under S we have X, you write X, another space, then where there is T, <coughs> where there is T, where is T, you put Y. Now where there is H. You put M. Okay. So where there is E, you put J. And where there is H, H we said M, so we put M. And where there is O, we put T. Where there is U, it's Z. And finally, where there is R, we put W. So, if you encrypt now is the hour, you get this as your cipher tip.
text or the encrypted message. Therefore, question one is done. So this is the first method uh, we can use to encrypt. But if you want to use another method, let's go ahead and I'll explain that. So basically, uh, since you can see that for us to get a plain text, for us to get a plain text, we need to have uh, an encryption algorithm one. Then we also need to have the uh, cipher text or the key. We need to have the cipher text minus the key. So I'll explain this. Then mod 26. Mod 26. I'll explain everything. But for us to get the cipher text as we did in this example, we need um, to know the... Or oh, to get the plain text, we need to know the decryption algorithm. But for the cipher text, we need to know uh, the encryption algorithm they used. Then we need to know the uh, plain text. Then the key we are using, mod 26. So based on our example now, we had uh, a plain text which has now is there. So um if we are given uh this alphabet as you can see if i want to encrypt the letter n this is what we do i'll get this formula for us to get the uh cipher text then the cipher text i don't know the encryption algorithm is just an algorithm but p which is the plain text in our case it's n so what's the position for n as you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so n is at fourteen so you say fourteen plus what was our key it's five because s was close to five then mod 26 so it's mod 26 because the alphabet ends at 26 so now 14 plus 5 we get 19 so 19 mod uh, 26 so what mod means it's more like uh, you want to wrap around this number find the its modulus so uh, for mod whereby in, in the case uh, the the mod or the number before the mod is less than that mod in a case whereby 26 is bigger than 19 it means we just like 19 because if you wrap around you still uh, go back to 19 we explain that as time goes on but for now just know that but in a case it was supposed to be 27 we could have said 27 minus 26 for us to get one but it's uh something else when it comes to calculating you know that soon so if our plain text which was n can give us a cipher text of 19 we just need to uh find out what is 19 so n was 14 so oh, 15 16 17 18 19 so 19 is s so uh the substitution for 19 should give us s no wonder if you can see uh our cipher text now is becoming s so with this formula even though it will take you time but if you are fast, it won't take you that much enough time. You can find that till you encrypt this whole cipher text. Now, uh, let's talk about how can we reverse this to decrypt. So, since we have learned about encrypting, now decrypting is a process whereby we uh, get back the original plain text from its cipher text. So, this is what we need to do. That's the formula. I'll show you. So the plain text in our case n was 14. So I'll say 14. Then uh okay, let me say I don't know 14. So decryption algorithm, just an algorithm. Cipher text is 19 to represent s minus the key, which was 5, then mod 26. So now, if you can see, uh, we have 19 minus 5, which is just 14. So we have 14 and mod 26. So mod 26, as I said, 14 is less than 26. So the answer is just 14. 
So what is 14 on alphabet? We get back to N. So <coughs> we have decrypted. So uh, this is what it means, guys, by encrypting and decrypting. Okay. So we have question two. So two says a messenger tells you that the secret key for today for the Caesar cipher is S is equal to 26. Should you trust the message? Why or not? <coughs> So, the okay, first thing, as we said, you need to have the alphabet. Then, uh, since the key is 26, you just need to count. So, if you start from 1, which is A, up to Z, which is 26, you find that uh, all these will be used. So, if these are being used, our key is up to Z, which is 26. You need to come back. Uh, you need to start at A then a b c d up to z there so it means this uh will be your plain text and cipher text but uh if you can see these two you find that they are having the same order meaning you cannot encrypt any anything with this so it means one this message you cannot be trusted why because it might be intercepted or it might be known during its transmission because the content is not hidden or it's not encrypted you cannot encrypt something with this then two the other reason is that uh it says a messenger tells you that the secret keys for today is whatsoever so you cannot trust this message uh again because we don't deal with uh, messengers or someone to tell you what the key is. This is supposed to be a secret between two communicating parties. So that's the answer. See you in the next video. More cryptography content coming soon. This is Soko James uh, Tutor for KMU Cybersecurity Tutorials. See you in another one.